We Shall Not Be Removed, a national collective of disabled artists and disabled-led organisations. Introduction and monthly summary for May 2020. Andrew Miller. Andrew is seated in his home study. He has short dark brown hair, is wearing glasses and a black polo neck jumper. Hello, I'm Andrew Miller and together with Vicky Reeford Sinnott, this is our video summary of We Shall Not Be Removed's first month of operation. The idea for a UK Disability Arts Alliance began with a series of discussions in March and April that established the need for disabled individuals and organisations operating in the arts and creative industries to come together in the face of this terrible crisis affecting both the arts and us as disabled people. We have been entirely missing from the national narrative around this pandemic. It's like we've been forgotten. So We Shall Not Be Removed is an emergency response led by disabled people for disabled people. Our alliance is designed as a forum to advocate, campaign and support creative practitioners and organisations through and after COVID-19. Our two central aims are to ensure an inclusive cultural recovery and to amplify our voices as creative disabled people. To deliver these, we will run advocacy campaigns and we've established a new dedicated Slack platform online, which acts as a community hub, signposts new information and encourages our members to contribute their ideas and solutions. We will also host a monthly meeting to bring our community together on Zoom, which Vicky will tell you more about shortly. Membership of We Shall Not Be Removed is free. It's open to all disabled, deaf, neurodiverse creation, creative practitioners, and also disability focused organisations and those working inclusively operating in UK arts museums and film. We actively encourage members to invite new people to join. And since our launch in early May, we now have over 200 members. Our alliance is cross art form, cross impairment group and cross UK nation. And we've all committed to working with each other with kindness and respect, aware that this is a really difficult time for all of us. As this is also a voluntary enterprise, there is no funding involved, so we have sought to be as accessible as possible within the boundaries of no money. And we've also resisted developing any hierarchies. We've instead instigated a system of channel conveners, enabling anyone who sets up a new discussion channel on Slack to contribute to decision making and shape our advocacy and campaigns. All we ask is you participate as much as you are comfortable doing. Our colleague, Joe Verrant, is putting together a video on how to get the most out of the Slack platform, which will be posted soon. Since launching, we've received supportive press in the stage, arts professional and artist news network, and succeeded in our first aim of raising profile for disabled creatives at this difficult time. In the Reshaping the Recovery channel on Slack, Lots of information has been shared to inform members of the very fast moving developments impacting the arts generally. It's very clear that few of us want to see the arts return to business as usual, as that simply didn't work for so many of us. As well as the arts press articles, some audience surveys have also been posted, including a really interesting one from Australia, which reveals that disabled audiences there are not yet ready to return to venues, whilst the threat of the virus remains. And that's in a country with a far less severe outbreak than here in the UK. The UK government's Department of Culture, Media and Sport has announced a task force charged to drive the renewal and recovery of the arts in England. What many of us fear is that a kind of can-do ableism drives this agenda. And whilst many of us long-term shield, disabled people could be forgotten. But I'm delighted to say that we have two of our members, Michelle Taylor of Ramps on the Moon and Jonathan Harper of the British Pirate Orchestra, representing disabled interests at these discussions. And they'll update us on their progress on our 4th of June Full Alliance Zoom meeting. And finally from me, John Kelly has proposed our first campaign. John is an experienced campaigner for disability rights, and he suggested we flood social media platforms with the great diverse tapestry of all our artworks over a single 12 hour period. 
The aim is around getting the we shall not be removed message out there and particularly to get it outside of our own bubble and hashtag several key media organisations and government decision making bodies. The date is yet to be set and John will tell us more during the 4th of June Zoom call. But some of us think this is a brilliant idea that all our members can share and take part in. That's it from me. Hope you found this summary useful. And remember, if we work together, we shall not be removed. Over to Vicky. Vicky Rayford Sinnott. Vicky has teal coloured hair and is wearing a spotty scarf to match. She's wearing a black top and glasses and is seated in her home study. Hello, my name's Vicky Rayford Sinnott and I'm the Artistic Director of Little Cog and also a founder member of Disconsortia, which is a disabled artist-led collective in the northeast of England. So, we shall not be removed. A new voice for disabled people in the arts. This group is about action. So who's it for? It's for all disabled artists and disability-focused organisations. This is for everyone to be a member of. We need all voices from all communities as this is a massive opportunity to shape something in the vision of what we want to see in the world for disabled people in the arts. You are part of what that needs to look like. Accessibility. We have used an internet platform called Slack, which is a space where we are all notionally together in large numbers and where we are doing our initial organising. We know that it's not something everyone's familiar with and it certainly doesn't claim to be accessible to everyone, but it is a beginning and we are actively seeking ways to be accessible to everyone, including learning disabled artists, deaf artists and artists currently experiencing um, an overwhelm of information. In terms of getting involved, just contact either Andrew or myself on social media or indeed anyone else that you you know is already involved and will add you to the Slack group. And we want all members to be responsible for inviting other disabled artists into the group. You'll be an equal member with an equal say and opportunities to equally drive discussions. We've got our first large gathering coming up uh, on Zoom. And with over 200 members already, we're not sure how many will attend. So we have a six item agenda, each one being presented by different members of the group. The combined agenda will give an introduction to We Shall Not Be Removed and an overview of important national developments, including our first campaigning activity, which will be proposed by John Kelly. And so there will be a few things to listen to. It is impossible to make this meeting largely participatory at this stage where everybody gets a chance to speak. We're really sorry, but that is based on practicalities relating to time, access and just staying focused on our task. There will, however, be a 20 minute window, which I'll facilitate, asking what members want from We Shall Not Be Removed. Some of this will involve voting using Zoom features and there'll also be something called a chat feature where you can put in comments and questions. The question about what you want from We Will Not Be Removed um, will be left open for a week and members can feed in in various ways so that we can collect as many people's views as possible. Thanks. Delighted to be w working with you and looking forward to seeing you soon. End slide one. It's free to join and we're working hard to make what we do as accessible as possible. We're not funded yet, so everything is on a voluntary basis. It's about having a voice and working together in solidarity. End slide two. Please request to be part of the group through the person originally sharing this video or through anyone you know who is already a member. We look forward to working with you. End slide three. Hashtag we shall not be removed.